ever touching the ball. So did you like it immediately, or did, were you bummed I, out? I was. I was. I like the defensive line more. I wasn't that yeah. good on offensive line when I first started playing, but I developed over the time. So I love offensive line play now. Yeah, tell me. That's what I was gonna say. Last thing. What is it about the humility? What, what What is it you have to develop to be a good offensive lineman? Like I was talking about a while ago, the glory's not always there. Yeah. A lot of blame goes sometimes, but <laughs> what is you it know, you have to develop to? Just confidence, I would say, is one of the biggest things for offensive line. You're going to get beat. It happens. But may, being able to move on to the next play is a key thing because if you think about the last play when you're going to beat, you're going to get beat again. So you got to be able to move on. It's similar like corners and quarterbacks if they throw a pick. Just like you got to be able to move on from the next play. That's, I'd say confidence is probably the biggest thing. Hey, what again? What was that? Last 15 uh, questions for Joe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Sprinkle, I mean, you don't go against him necessarily head up every day. But what have you seen about him? I mean, do you see him picking up where he left off a year ago? Yeah, you know, it's it's hard coming off injury. You know, every all of us have been there coming off injury before. And so it's just great to have him out there and see him going. You know, he's out there flying around trying to get back into it, you know. And he's playing his tail off right now. It's great to see, you know. That's one of our brothers. And he was a starter last year. And it was one of it's a hard thing to see, especially that early in the season. Somebody works so hard to get there in the first I think I'm pretty sure it was the first game, you yeah. know, something like that happened. That's just heartbreaking to see, but then to see how hard he worked this year, even more harder to come back. I can't wait for him to have that payday, that first game out there against Indiana. He got well, there. That's what's amazing. You're getting him and Dante Booker, who was a starter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you see why they were starters a year ago? Oh, Does yeah. it show up? Yeah. How does he show up with Dante? He's a freak athlete. I think he ran a 4 4 in his 40. He's like 240-something, just freak out there. He's been like that since we got here, you know. He's just an energy guy. He goes out there, makes plays, love football. It's, just, it's great to have those guys back. Urban, Thanks, Urban says Isaiah has really improved oh, since yeah. last year. And what are the biggest ways in which you've seen him get better? I would say the biggest thing is just confidence. You know, you got to be able to move on to the next play. Uh, he's out there fighting and scratching, doing whatever it takes to protect that quarterback, just like the rest of us. You know, that's something that Coach Thud really preached all offseason. Do whatever it takes to protect that quarterback. And I think that's something all of us have actually taken in, not just Isaiah, but it's just, it's great to see, uh, you know, guys start to, you know, get a little bit more recognition around our uh, O-line, you know, but it's up to us to keep that going. You know, we can't have a good couple weeks and then regress. We have to keep that going and keep progressing every day, every week. You see him bring a new attitude, a new demeanor into practice this year? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, just I, like I said, I think it's just confidence. You know, that first year starting, he was, a, he was a sophomore, so he was still young. It's hard. It's hard on all of us. And we got to keep each other going. How's Josh Myers looking this summer? Uh, he's.